And welcome to Whose Launch Is It Anyways, the show where the commentary is made up and the timestamps don't matter. I'm John Galloway, your host. Let's look at our first contestant here. It's a pipe being unloaded at Pad B. In this one, you've got to unload the pipe from the truck without using your hands. All you can use is that strap there to fly it through the air <laughs> over for the Pad B construction. I don't think I can keep that up the entire time, but look at this. A little bit of a time lapse of the chopstick landing rail being painted. It's quite satisfying, isn't it? I do hope that this ends with the entire thing painted. Yes, it did. Whew. Good thing. There's that, or I don't know if that's the same pipe. There's a pipe being lifted up onto the tower, beginning to plumb it in. A lot of the plumbing was already done on the tower uh, over at the assembly site, the Sanchez site, and they moved it over. Now they've got to do some of the connections, but. On to the next day, the Star Factory office building. We see a view like this every day. I'd love to see a time lapse of those panels going in, like chuk 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 chuk, like all the, the glass panels going onto the side. But if you look inside, you can see the triangle there, and that is a ship forward flap. Looks like one of the new, more angular designs. More angular? I guess that's a good way to describe it. Another shot up towards the rocket garden. Unfortunately, that's closed, or unfortunately, that is closed. You sort of spe you see SpaceX has sort of taken over the street there. You can't get as close as you used to be, but they're working on the fence. They're working on the side of the building, it looks like there. I'm not entirely sure what they're installing. There's Ship 30's aft flap. Oh, there's a PTZ camera on that pole as well. Scroll back and look at that. The reflecting pool, not reflecting much today. Got a little wind, it looks like. That's okay. That painted landing rail on the chopsticks makes it look a little bit like uh, camouflage. It's, it's hard to see. Hopefully the booster can see the landing rail when it comes. It doesn't work that way. Who am I kidding? There is the ship lifting pin, and you can see the cameras and sensors on either side of it. Of course, that's always what I gravitate to. It's like those enclosed cameras that you can see if it's aligned or not. And there are the chopstick stops being reinstalled, keeping the chopsticks from clapping together too hard. The clevis, that's what that's the big U-shaped thing in the middle there. Somebody in the comments told me, oh yeah, that's a clevis. A clevis hitch. It's got a pin. It's got a big weird horseshoe. We're also talking about the difference in the sparks, like if the sparks are being ejected versus the sparks sort of falling. Reading from the comments on the last video, the, the grinding or cutting with a wheel, like a mechanical cutting process versus a... Well, I guess a, a torch would be a cutting process as well, but you can sort of tell if they're getting thrown or like spewed out one side or if they're just sort of showering down. really need to do some work on that carriage. Are those, like, marks on the top of it? It looks like a ruler or some sort of hatch marks. That's interesting. Is that ship cutie arm? Has a little bit of scaffolding on the side there. Always on the lookout for the scaffolding to come down. Still an awful lot of work around here. You can see the rusty sticks. Folks, look, if I describe something as a rusty stick, it's it's not because I'm trying to minimize the fact that it's a rusty stick. It's just that I don't know the exact name for it, and I'm... Oh, there's a bird on there. Look at that bird. There it is. It's a hawk overseeing the operations. This is the part where I need to go back and see if I can identify that hawk. Maybe in the next video we can identify which hawk this was overseeing the operations there. You can see in this view, that's where ta where Hopper used to be over on the left-hand side. And so now you can see a little bit more into the pad. Hopper, of course, moved across the road. We're going to get to Hopper in just a minute. I do not know what those folks were doing. Get out your air quotes because it's time for test tank 16. This is going to be over at Massey's again. And they continue to do work on this test rig where they can exert pressure or force on it. They can cryo-load it, they can chill it down, and they can squeeze it, and I think even turn it different ways, like just exert forces on it in different ways to see how their internal design, or how their uh, structural design, I think, 
works. There's the crab stand in Ship 31. That's going to be over at Massey's as well. Still missing those tiles and a couple of those bands there. It's really curious. How hey, there's another bird. There's just birds everywhere. That's a different one. That one looks like a Mexican eagle. The darker ones, I know, we usually call Mexican eagles. I don't know if that's the proper terminology, but I'm sure someone will correct me if it's not. But back over to the Star Factory. There's some more nose cones and the fan. Sort of marching their way past the windows. It's funny how the... The, nose, the, the tiles look a little dirty or something, like they got dripped on. You wouldn't think that that would happen inside the factory. Here's one that doesn't have any tiles on it. Nice shiny stainless steel. Then I second-guess myself, and I look at the sides of it to see, oh, maybe there's tiles on the other side. All right, so this is a thing. Parts being removed from Starhopper, and I would like to ask why. It looked like they moved, I mean, it didn't look like anything. They moved Starhopper across the road. It sort of sat for a little bit, but now we've got these lifts working all around Starhopper. Removing part, that, what, what was that? What does this guy think he's doing? Did you just kick that? Seriously, have some respect. They're actually taking the outer shell or skin. I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, he just cut that line. Really? That's like some sea channel he just zipped through and then took down. And now, okay, are they cleaning it up to make it more presentable? They better dang well be. Like, why would they be cutting all of these parts off of it and removing parts of the outer skin? Look at this. That's interesting. I look how beat up that skin is. That's from the launches when the concrete shower and, and even the other launches. Oh, yeah. Look out below. <laughs> Literally looked like he looked down to see if there was anybody below him after he dropped the sheet. All right. Yep. Look down. Pull it off. Maybe let's control it a little better this time. I'm going to be critical of these people because they're, they're disassembling Hopper. Nope. He just dropped it on the ground. So not entirely sure the purpose here. Maybe they're going to make cyber trucks out of those pieces or keychains or something. I don't even know if I'm okay with that. You know, they are they I will say they're being very methodical about it. Like they're not just going in there with a with a huge torch or a, an excavator and just crushing it all to pieces. I don't know. There are some strong opinions about whether or not Hopper should uh, <clears throat> be preserved or not, but I'm not sure why they were taking those pieces off. I mean, how can you talk about the chopsticks when they're over there hacking Hopper to pieces? This is nice, but let's go back to. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna go back. Let's look at the booster QD, the quick disconnect for the booster. The hood is up right now, so you can see all of those uh, lines and uh, fittings that connect to the rocket. Down on the booster side, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that in the future. Does it stay mounted on an OLM? How's it going to work on pad 2? One way to find out. Ooh, the Starlink Pez loader inside the Starlink building. There are flat things in there that, I don't want to say they're Starlinks. Are they like Starlink simulators or test objects or something is a good question. Looks like we moseyed back over to Massey's once again. There's the infamous Massey's moat. And the crane, and then you see test tank 16 air quotes there, the, the darker one. Oh, yeah, thanks. Give me the air quotes and everything. We've, we've seen a lot of footage of this, but it's not really clear exactly what's happening there. They just keep preparing it, but we haven't really seen a test on it. There's the Starbase sign, which has become a parking lot. And the Rocket Garden. Can I do it quickly? Ship 26, 32, 30, and 20. Probably in that order. The folks that do the labels are usually pretty good about that. 
more time lapse shots of the Star Factory or office building. Really, like we really, really need to set up a camera that can time lapse these glass panels going on in the end. I'll talk to the, the folks out there about it. Another wide one from the launch site. The crane, the big crane is down right now, is getting some reconfiguration work done to it. That shot's a little soft there. Okay, back to Starhopper. Here we go. <laughs> They're continuing. I mean, is that one person supervising their lift? No, they were just going down. They're still taking the sheets off, the, the little uh, skin panels. That one stayed up there, partially attached. A little time-lapse angle. You can tell by the clouds. It's a little bit of a, a foundation for a fence around this. And some chopstick testing. All right, look for the chopstick stops here. That's going to swing to where you can't quite see them in the middle. It'll open back up again. You can see those two huge... Uh, I mean, tubes is really the right terminology for them. The entire thing is made of tubes. It's all tubes all the way down. Just looks like they're putting it through its paces. Off to the side like this, this is sort of the, the position where it would pick up a ship. Not quite pick up a ship or a booster. You can see the OLMs to the side, and the chopsticks are like swung to, I guess you could say, chopstick left. So they'll swing chopstick left like that towards the road or towards the, the staging area, like the mount. If they're gonna pick something up, they're just doing that one right now, like waggling it back and forth. Maybe to see if those parts and the stops. Here you go. If you look in the middle, you can see how the chopsticks almost make contact. Oh, really close. You'd have to zoom in to see if there was still a, a air gap or daylight in between those two massive metal tubes that now have this is not going to be a blind on it oh that one has an end cap and the other one doesn't have an end cap you'll see that up there just such a wacky contraption it'll be really interesting to see if this is just an idea that goes the way of uh mystery catching fairings with a huge net the idea of catching a rocket with huge sticks like this <laughs> it's, it's interesting to see if that's actually going to be a thing. They're going to try it, that's for sure. So Jack caught this one late at night. A little bit tough to see. Here we go. We'll get some different lighting and different ISO, probably. But it looks like a tubular constructed part that may have something to do with the cutie arm or chopsticks. You see a big hinge pin or a big hinge on it right there. Thinking... That might be the cutie arm. We already say hey, this is that thing we saw go to McGregor. This is another Lox header tank. The weird Tin Man looking thing that we saw go to McGregor and then saw getting tested at McGregor. If you were on McGregor Live over there, we had some footage of that. But we also saw one of these rolling out from Starbase being loaded up on a truck and sent that way. Oh, you can see the, oh wait, before it goes behind a corner, you see the flap dangling there in the middle of the stream? The truck, and then there you go. When it turns sideways, you get some context. There you go. I guarantee you Boca Chica Galmeri ran out to get this. Like, we were watching what's going on and then noted, noted that a flap was uh, going, and Mary ran out to grab that. And here's this hot staging ring. It came from Mega Bay 1, apparently. We've been, we've been looking for these things to be floating around Starbase. I don't see, I, you know, I'm not really comparing it, I guess. I don't see a lot of differences in the designs, like have they changed that design. But that's going to do it for this Starbase summary. I'm on the road this week, but I'm going to keep trying to uh, get the videos for, oh yeah, you got to do the credits, like who's lying? Which is your host, John Galloway, and the f footage with, from Mary and Jack Barrett. It's, well, that was too fast. Hey, whatever. Folks, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you nerds later.